So, welcome back on News Lab. Another day, another model from Nonlinear Circuits. This is Bongo, and this is his boom and component that you need to buy if you want to assemble this mod. Tips and guide, I'll link you in the description. Anyway, so this is the kit that I have. Really, really cute bongo. <laughs> so, like always, we start from the resistors, so the SMD components, and then we move on with the true hole. We start to hit our solder iron, and this is the PCB and the panel. Your sleeping bags. Here it is. Good morning. Uh -huh. You're drinking, huh? So let's start from the resistors, the SMD resistors, and then we move from the capacitors. Like always, first hit the panel, put the solder on it, and then go to place with your tweezers the resistors. By the way, I'm sorry for the camera how it looks, but I ordered a new one from Amazon and from in the next videos we'll have at least a better way to see the work. Now let's move on on the capacitors, which I love to solder honestly because they are really really fat. <laughs> Now we move on on the IC. We place it, we solder it, and then, like always, the U on the IC socket, like that. You should put it where is the point on your IC. Okay, as you can see, you can see a little circle, a little point on the IC. There is the direction. Now we can move on on our diodes. Like always, there is the arrow on the PCB that is telling you where you should put the black line of the diode. I like to put them in this way because I have more space to work, let's say. Just in case if we do some mistake, it's easier to remove it. So now here we place it like this, three legs and then the little hole in the middle. This component, uh, I think, you, like this you can adjust the envelope of the bongo, I think. I don't remember honestly, we'll see better in another one. Anyway, now we can move on the power pins. Always be careful to not short circuit anything or you will kill your model. And then let's check on it the continuity. Now the pots always remove that annoying, really annoying thing uh, on it so it doesn't touch the panel and the jacks place them always this way. Now to check that everything fit perfectly we lock some jacks on the panel and in this moment was not fixing really good, fitting really good because as you can see the panels are not parallel but one between the other so I moved the screw, I don't know how to call it, of the jacks under the panel so to be let's say linear I don't know. <laughs> now we place the LED I didn't want it to be completely outside, I want it like to be hidden inside the panel so I place it like 
half of his road. Like this. And it's cute, I like it. It was, it was perfect for me. As you can see here, I show that it was not perfect, so I just moved it. I don't think, I don't remember in English how you call it, and, and I place them under the bar. We place the knob cups. Really cute. Now, let's check the continuity like always. And let's place the bus cable with the red line on the red right on the panel. And let's check if everything works. You will not hear any sound like always. I'll show you when I will have a better system, let's say at least the mixer <laughs> or the no lay when I will do it. Uh, in the system we will see how every model works. Let's connect the power and turn it on. Boop. So let's take the trigger from the first sequence and it's working it's working definitely the light turn on more that much you you put up the frequency of the model <laughs> so this is it bongo by nonlinear sequence really cute essential model drum model and I love it it can be a really good kick it can be uh, bongo <laughs> anyway I think it's a essential thank you buds good night anyway <laughs> for the help so like always if you enjoyed the video if you liked it leave a like subscribe and see you in the next video